Afghan U.S. naval heads are rolling. The two senior officers and the senior enlisted sailor on board the warship USS Fitzgerald are being relieved of their duties. Naval officials saying they've lost trust and confidence in their ability to lead. Around nine other sailors are also facing disciplinary action for the accident, which resulted in the deaths of seven American crew members when the Fitzgerald collided with a cargo ship from the Philippines in June. An investigation into the crash is still underway, but going by the laws of the sea, the U.S. warship was at fault, and the Navy says there's enough evidence that the crew made serious mistakes for them to take initial action. Two months on, officers are highlighting one key. He punishes leadership of USS Fitzgerald following deadly collision off Japan. The commander and executive officer of a U.S. Navy destroyer were relieved from command as punishment for a collision with a container ship off Japan that killed seven sailors in June, one of the worst naval accidents in years. The Navy said Thursday, CMDR, Bryce Benson, commander of the Fitzgerald, and CMDR, Sean Babbitt, the ship's second in command, were fired from their positions because the Navy lost trust and confidence in their ability to lead ADM. William F. Moran, the Vice Chief of Naval Operations, told reporters. The pair were among about a dozen sailors on the destroyer, including the top enlisted sailor, who could face discipline for the June 17th collision with the Philippine-flagged merchant vessel ACX Crystal about 50 nautical miles southwest of the Japanese port of Yokosuka. It's still unclear why the two huge ships didn't see and avoid each other, that is subject to another investigation, given modern radar and other sophisticated tracking marine gear, especially on the warship, but the Navy said Vice ADM. Joseph O'Coin, commander of the 7th Fleet, had enough information to assign punishments for the collision. Seas were calm and the pre-dawn sky was still dark with scattered clouds when the ACX crystal, which is 728 feet long and weighs 29,000 tons, suddenly smashed into the Fitzgerald, which is 505 feet long and 9,000 tons. The crash carved a 13 by 17 foot gash into the Fitzgerald's forward starboard side above and below the water line. Water quickly flooded the large room where 42 sailors lay asleep in their berths, as well as a machinery space in the radio room. Seconds after impact, sailors jolted awake and berthing to yelled water on deck and get out, according to a 41-page report on the deadly incident released by the Navy. But sea water poured in so fast that it was already waist deep before the 42 sailors first tried to climb out. 35 survived, 7 did not saving the ship and getting it back to Yokosuka. Home to the Seventh Fleet took unusual efforts, the report said, through their swift and, in many cases, heroic actions, members of the Fitzgerald crew saved lives, the report said. No damage control efforts, however, would have prevented Berthing II from flooding completely within the first two minutes following the collision. Or the deadly circumstances in that situation. The Japanese Coast Guard sent vessels to assist in rescue efforts while Japanese helicopters and a U.S. patrol aircraft flew near the destroyer. Three sailors required medical evacuation, including Benson, the ship's commander.